Hello guys, I'm your friend UFO guy here and tonight we must debunk one myth. What is the best way to buy new miners? Which coin should you mine? Should you mine ROT directly or should you mine Ethereum as most people say and convert it to ROT? Of course, there are not gonna be any sneak peeks for the next event. So as most of you know, I'm a part of the RollerCoin content creator program. Do I know when the next season is gonna start or not doesn't matter because if there is some information that I know and I'm not allowed to tell it, I'm just not gonna tell it. What I can foreshadow is that your work for these awesome, super awesome miners is not gonna be in vain. And as always, I'm gonna say prepare your ROT because great things await RollerCoin in my opinion. So for the purpose of this video, we're gonna check out how much ROT can you buy converting every single coin you have 10 PHS of power. And of course, at the end, we're gonna say how much ROT can you get with this much power and is it worth converting your cryptocurrency into ROT or just directly buying or mining ROT. We're first gonna start off with Dogecoin. Buying one ROT, you need to have 8.2 Dodge coins. Now let's do some math. Now so I don't show it every single time we're gonna need the network power and here you can find the network power for each coin on the left side of the screen. We're gonna copy the Dogecoin mining power and paste it in the best calculator ever. So as I said we're gonna imagine we have 10 PHS of power for mining each coin and the current block reward for Dogecoin is 20 coins. You can see that for one day we are gonna earn 6.31. Now let's see how much ROT is that. For the calculation I am dividing the amount of Dogecoin that we can mine for one day by the amount needed to buy one ROT. And we get 0.76 ROT for one day of mining Dogecoin with 10 PHS. Next we are gonna go with Polygon aka Matic, a very strong competitor of Ethereum. With this power you're gonna be earning approximately 0.9, we're gonna go with exact numbers, this much Matic per day. You need this much Matic to buy one ROT and you get 1.32 ROT per day, so so far Matic is winning. Next one is BNB, so for one day with this power you're gonna be earning this much BNB and you need 0.0027 BNB per one Ethereum, so let's do the math. So we're gonna be earning 1.23 ROT per day of mining BNB. Next we're gonna go with mining Bitcoin and you need this much Bitcoin to buy one ROT and you're gonna be earning 1545 Satoshis per day with this power. You're gonna be earning 0.60 ROT per this amount of Bitcoin which it makes it the worst coin ever to transfer into ROT for the moment. Next is a supposedly leading competitor, Ethereum. You need 0.000374 Ethereum for one ROT. And with the current price, you're gonna get 0.000 this amount Ethereum. So for mining Ethereum, you're gonna get 1.56 ROT per a day of mining Ethereum. And of course we should not skip mining ROT itself, it could be the best opportunity, who knows. Now before I give you the answer and show you my notepad, I'm just gonna say that every single time except for my early videos from a year and more ago, I have told you the best way to get miners is mining ROT. People always say no you're not right, no you're not right and people on Facebook say that as well. Well let's see if I'm right or am I wrong. According to Roller Buddy, with this amount of power, we are gonna get 1.99 ROT per day of mining ROT. So the conclusion is, as you can see, mining ROT is the best way of buying miners with ROT. And you can see that for a day of mining, you're gonna get 1.99. Second is Ethereum with 1.56. Third is Matic with 1.32. Fourth, BNB with 1.23. And the worst are Dogecoin and Bitcoin with almost 0.76 and 0.6 ROT per day. I hope this answers many of your questions and I hope you do like this video. Thanks as always for watching, for supporting me by clicking the join button here on YouTube and for smashing the like button and subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.